Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot Commander with the Weekly Comic Book Roundup. We've covered this week's Marvel books. Now it's on to DC and other publishers. And for the first time, I think, ever on the Roundup, we're actually going to have two videos worth of DC books. Because we had that many. Oh. Excuse me. Kicking things off, we've got Batman number 110. So where we left off, um, Batman was in, embroiled in, in a head-to-hand -head battle with uh, Peacekeeper Zero One. Um, and at some point in the near future, we will also have Batman having been kidnapped or taken prisoner by the Scarecrow. And, well, yeah, a little bit more of that, but. Uh, most of the issue is the continuing the fight between Peacekeeper Zero One and Batman. Um, Miracle Molly is watching the uh, the news reports and realizes that the, the Unsanity Collective is likely to be blamed for everything that uh, Scarecrow is doing. Um, the Commissioner is trying to. Uh, Convince the, the mayor to not, or Commissioner Montoya is trying to convince Mayor Nakano not to sign on to the Peacekeeper program just yet. And Oracle's getting everyone into getting, making sure all the members of the Bat family are ready to help out when need be. But, uh,. The fight between Batman and Peacekeeper Zero One continues with Batman informing Peacekeeper Zero One that, uh, you know, his boss, Simon Say, bombed City Hall. Zero One says, well, who do you think put, planted the bomb in the first place? Who do you think planted the bomb? Mr. Saint didn't just walk in and put it there. So, yeah. PC was real one, set the bomb, and, well, yeah. But the battle continues. Uh, Batman get, loses his cape. Plants various uh, explosives. Ghostmaker on, on, Ghost and, and Harley are on their way to rescue Batman. A series of explosions goes off at uh, the Saint Building, which uh, Ghostmaker sees them and realizes they were done in Morse code. Batman and er, Ghostmaker saves Batman, and The two of them, plus Harley, discuss what's going on with uh, Batman explaining, revealing the identity of Peacekeeper Zero One to Harley. And apparently, Sean Mahoney, well, we already knew he was our guard, but yeah, apparently, Harley knew him. And not just from when she was a patient, but when she, from when she was actually a doctor at Arkham. Uh, as she puts it, um, there were a lot of bad guys working as guards at Arkham. Want to be tough guys who wanted to play cop, getting off on tormenting the inmates. Uh, Mahoney was a was a sadist. Insecurities in all the wrong places. Kept getting in trouble with Doctor Arkham for roughing up inmates. And that was back when she was a doc on the staff and not a patient. And in her professional opinion, Gotham City is fucked in the head. And that's her official opinion as a doctor, or her professional opinion as a doctor, and as someone else who's fucked up in the head, too. But uh, the peacekeepers converge on the Unsanity Collective, uh, with most non-combat non ready people having already been... Uh, 
evacuated. But uh, Squeak comes upon Miracle Molly, wanting to help out, and before they can, before the two of them can get out, however, the peacekeepers are, arrive. Molly, Molly surrenders. Does the smart thing. And Peacekeeper Zero One radios back to Mr. Sane, explaining that they've met armed resistance and are, and he's requesting the option to use lethal force to apprehend the terrorists known as the Insanity Collective. The request is, is granted. And that is where the Batman portion of the issue ends. Next, uh, for our backup story, we've got uh, part chapter four of of uh, the uh, Ghost Maker story. So he's infiltrated Madame Midas' island. Madame Midas has been just talking with the various uh, villains who have survived run ins with the Ghost Maker. This time, and this time, it, uh, I can't remember the uh, Emperor for Crocodile's name, but uh, apparently he thought that she makes it, she comments that if she could. If she could get rid of the armor, she could basically take it apart and sell the bits and pieces on the black market. However, he states that uh, he thought that was the case, that he, you know, the armor was just a crutch. But uh, Ghostmaker fought him in hand to hand and won, going after the same pressure points over and over again. Where, so that. Uh, do wore himself out. But the other one Crocodile's trying to get him get her get Madame Midas to well, detonate the various explosives she had on the island, bring it crashing down on his head. And she realizes that that's exactly what she has to do. Detonates, she detonates the access tunnels and bringing them down on his, on his head. And that is where the issue ends. Uh, good issue. Um, they are definitely getting ready for the next Bat crossover, which uh, I'll go ahead and just announce that now. It's called Fear State. It'll be... It'll, it's going to have all of the, uh, the Bat books involved, with the exception of, jo of Joker. Um, Batman, Detective Comics, Nightwing, Harley Quinn, uh, I think there's some others as well, but yeah, so there's definitely some one shots that would be involved. So yeah, um, they're ba Batman is basically currently now in setup mode, for, you know, basically, as I commonly say with setup, with setup issues, getting the all the pieces in getting all of the uh, players in position before the big before the big story occurs which is a little shitty but um, at the same time I will kind of walk back a complaint I have been voicing it lately about the bat books that um, they seem to be um, they're telegraphing you know but the, the fact that they're leading up to um, the events of Future State, when we already know what what happens. Um, I actually kind of appreciate the little bits of additional information uh, this time, like the fact that Peacekeeper Zero One is, you know, yeah, he's, he was a survivor of A Day, but he's not a good person, um, and. He's the fact that he's willing to go to the lengths he he does for uh, Simon Saint's vision of Gotham. That, yeah, uh, the Ghostmaker story was that was is still proving to be quite fun. Um, and I, I did uh, as you and as usual with the Batman story, I, I did appreciate Harley's uh, appearance or Harley's presence. Uh, Harley is definitely 
I think, getting the respect she deserves. In fact, uh, there was a headline in the last few weeks about how Harley Quinn is the second most, is the, is basically the fourth most impor important character to DC, to DC's branding after Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So, that's, that's neat. That's actually really cool to hear. Moving on to our next book, we've got Batman Secret Files, The Signal. So, The Signal. Duke Thomas is a uh, metahuman with uh, photokinetic powers. He was introduced during, uh, I want to say, the I Am Robin, or We Are Robin uh, story arc, I think, which, I, if I remember correctly, was in the, happened in the latter days of the New 52, and in Re Rebirth, he was a highlighted as a bigger supporting character. But uh, as the, he's also been a member of the Outsiders, and uh, he's basically the Bat Family day shift. So this begins. He's thinking he needs new friends. Kind of rolls back time a bit. A sparring session with, between him and Cassandra Kane. Uh, the morning debrief about what's occurred in Gotham over the, overnight. And seeing him being tasked with being day shift for Batman, or by Batman. But he runs into his former comrades from the I Am Robin days, and they've got a new benefactor, and they think that he's, a tr they think, feel like he's betrayed his values for Batman's vision. Rico Sheridan, current code name Rook. And Dax and Chill, current code name Alt. But uh, Rico bar manages to find a way to uh, copy um, the photokinesis powers. And oh, that's something that's something I didn't notice previously. But uh, she managed to infiltrate what's known as the White Market. Basically, it's a much more buyer oh. it's it's an under it's a market for the for those for members of the underground that uh, is more that it, it engenders the concept of of getting everything at one it, it's kind of like the Walmart of uh, the black market but interesting point that weapon right there. Yeah, someone's got an M41 pulse rifle. But, uh, the current funders of, uh, Rico and Alt meets with, uh, Bruce Wayne for brunch. Um,. But uh, Duke gets free, takes on Alt, goes after uh, Rico, and he gets a look at the, at the white market, which has all manner of nifty things. Bootleg lantern rings, um, the Book of Crime. Serum for Joker Toxin, which Duke very nearly steals until Rico's dis presence is discovered, and she's attacked by uh, Parasite. Duke saves her, uh, takes on some of the other villains, manages to get out, but... Uh, Signal managed to use both of his uh, 
powers simultaneously moving into light and shadow at the same time. Gets out and is knocked on is out for a while. Batman says, you know, basically, you know, yeah. Basically, Batman's taking a bit of a kinder hand to, to Duke. But, uh, the white market is, uh, described by Batman as being, every B and C level villain searching for a weapons and status upgrade has been praying for a market like this to exist. Black market billionaires want it shut down because its offerings are superior compared to their piecemeal pipelines. But, uh, it's also a, 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 a flash drive was given to Duke by Batman. Bat-shaped, obviously. Part of it includes a, a possible funder of the market, the Order of the Stone, a sect of the religion of crime. Centered around the book of historical dark deeds called the Crime Bible, which is shown at the, as being there. But, uh, Batman basically tells him, you know, at least, you know, takes take some time to heal, both physically and mentally. But, uh, the next day at Gotham Central Rehab, uh, there's been an incident in involving the escape of a patient. Duke's mom. Who seems to have busted out? The escape or kidnapping. Either way, there's a giant hole in the wall, and she's gone. That is where the issue ends. Sold stuff. Uh, I actually really dug the uh, the white market uh, concept was pretty cool, and there were some great cameos in there. Um, Merlin, Prometheus. Um, I think Max Lord popped up at one point. Um, of course, Parasite was a major player in the in the issue. Um, but yeah, uh, neat concept, and it was also hinted that uh, Xander Pierce, the billionaire that uh, Bruce met for brunch, I kind of get the feeling that they were trying to imply that he was one of the black market billionaires wanting to shut down the white market. Moving on to our next book, we've got Next Batman Second Son, number four, including issue of the miniseries. Where we left off, uh, Jace was trying to uh, bring down a, an international criminal, and uh, I think it was not proving to be that easy for him. But, uh, the issue begins with uh, Lucius Fox meeting with Simon Saint, Mayor Nakano. Nakano uh, Saint wants to talk to uh, Lucius Fox about using some Fox tech in the Magistrate program. Um, Whitaker and his partner uh, discuss. The fact that Montoya knows that Whitaker let uh, Batwing go. Jace goes after his, his target. Takes down the simple henchman, but has a definite problem with the uh, with the Morgan. You stab him in the side. And, well, then Jace gets assistance in the form of Katana. Where the, where the bit of a blade fight with... Uh, Morgan, which is interrupted by the arrival of the GCPD. Uh, 
Jace, J, uh, Lucius's wife meets with, with uh, the parents of the man that uh, Jace killed in a hit and run in a hit and run years previously, offering a settlement. And she agrees, though his son is quite isn't it? though her son isn't happy about it. Jace and Katana have a, have a chat with Katana kind of saying, "Hey, ditch the death wish, okay? You know, try and become." A symbol of better things. But, uh, Luke has some choice words about, uh, his brother, though, their sister says, uh, that. Luke apparently has all the answers, but is no good at fixing problems. And it takes Luke a moment when he realizes she's right. Um, Vol checks out the uh, what was in the attaché. What was it? What was in the, the career bag? It was some uh, his IDs for left-leaning radicals. Well, he mostly left to win room. It was IDs of people on government watch lists all associated with left-leaning radicals. Anarchists, anti-globalists, Antifa. Though, to be fair, anti-global... Uh, it's usually... Anti-globalism tends to be more of a right-wing right uh, concept, but whatever. Um, but... Falls on some digging on more information about the Wayne Industries building or Wayne Enterprises building, and there's a, there are some par portions of the building that uh, aren't supposed to exist. So Jace checks them out while Lucius Fox and Simon Saint discuss Saint's uh, vision for Gotham. Luke looks at looks at his old suit and, and tries to think about what you know where to go what it comes to, what to do when it comes to it. Uh, Lucius's wife goes to see how their daughter is doing. Tam begins doing some training with uh, traditional African weaponry. Jace, Jace finds what used to be the armory of Batman, and an armored bat suit, and that is where the series ends. Good series. It's actually the it appears the intention is to continue the adventures of uh, Jace Fox as Bat Jace Fox as Batman in. Uh, the upcoming I Am Batman series. Uh, so that should be inter an interesting read. And next up, we've got Nice House on the Lake, number two. Once again, uh, I'm just going to say it was really good. Um, it's it's a book that I will be talking about in it eventually, once the whole thing is out, and I can just talk about it all at once. Because right now... If you like horror, if you like messed up horror, seriously, pick up this book. It's good. Really good. Which brings us to our last book for the video, Noctera number five. Where we left off, Val, her brother, and, uh, oh god, what's her name? Bailey. Have made it to uh, their destination. Emery is taken to a uh, what's referred to as Lux. Uh, some trank darts have to be used on both Emery and 
on Emery as he does, he is turning, but uh, one of them does hit uh, Val. But uh, apparently the, the sunlight is doing, a, artificial or real, is doing the trick. Val meets with uh, Tiberius, uh, Augustus' brother. Um, she, he says she's welcome to stay, but he wants her to seriously think it over. And as explains that they have been doing research on human shades. There's also a flashback to the early days of things. Um, so they were the, the refuge. There came a point where. Uh, Some of the some of the uh, those who had turned would get better, but then they revert, and their parents were among those. But everything, no one could accept the refuge for what it was and for it being, as being a good thing. The shades got loose, and it, the whole thing collapsed. Um, Val tries to talk to Emery about staying there, but he really doesn't seem to want to. Uh, and she, he explains that, you know, he didn't lose track of time. He just... let himself get infected. But she tries to tell him that they're staying. Uh, she thinks it over. Um, also, Bailey's come up with a call sign for it, it, where she can become a driver, Piper, uh, because of the sand, of the sand Piper. But uh, Val goes further in and talks to Tiberius. But it turns out that uh, Tiberius is the one who hired Blacktop Bill, and Blacktop Bill is right outside. And that is where the issue ends. And, I mean, seriously, Doctera has been a really solid title. Um, I really do enjoy the way the work that Snyder does the world building with giving us little bits and pieces of backstory in every issue that flows with the story. Um, but, yeah, um, anyway, that's going to... That's it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be, can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying live long and rock hard.